Hey guys, the objective for this video is to discuss the concept of pipe networks in terms of series, parallel and branching. So the first um, pipe mechanism we can have is if we have a series of pipes with different diameters in series. Now in this case the flow rate remains constant throughout the pipes and that's really because uh, the velocity is what's going to change with the varying pipe diameter but the flow rate, that is the volume per second, is going to remain the same. The head loss is just simply going to be a summation of the head loss uh, within each of the different segments. Um, we're talking about the major head loss here. So we're going to have some head loss here, some head loss in the second, second segment, and some head loss in the third segment. And summing those up is going to find the total uh, head loss that we have. Uh, the next mechanism we can have is when we have pipes in parallel. In this case, uh, the flow rate is going to be split between each of these three pipes. So the total flow rate between A and B is going to be equal to the summation of all the individual flow rates. What we actually find, which is quite interesting, is that the head loss is head loss in pipe 1 and 2 and 3 are all equal uh, to each other. So it's independent of the fact that the pipes may have different diameters, the head loss is going to remain um, consistent for each of these pipes here. And lastly, we've got um, branching. So in this case here, we've got a, we've, we've got a flow um, entering, uh, exiting from point A into one pipe and then splitting up into two different pipes. So the flow rate um, coming in point one is gonna be equal to the summation of two and three. The flow rate, flow rate gets split um, between these two pipes here. What we actually find in terms of our uh, head loss is head, the head loss in pipe